Today in the news, we got some Navi 2X specs and a weird lineup for next-gen AMD laptops. What's up guys, I'm Snows with a band-aid on his nose and this is your boot sequence. A few weeks ago, leaks on Navi 2X blew up on Reddit. The information came from AMD's own firmware and featured a frequency table for Navi 21A, 21B, and Navi 22. To recap, Navi 21 had a max clock of 2200 MHz and Navi 22 up to 2500 MHz, which is insane. Now, AMD caught on to where the information leaked out and basically scrapped it for future updates of the firmware. This means no more leaks from that source. But another piece of information we can gather from this leak is that this this was their first revision of the frequency table, which means they were not the final clocks. So what now? Well, it looks like AMD might have pushed things even further for Navi 21 since more leaks have been popping out. First, let's identify the GPUs. If you remember, Rogue Game over on Twitter found that Navi 21 has four variants, Navi 21 XTX, XT, XL, and XE. Well, the Twitter leaker is now coming back with more information on the top end cards, the XT and XL. According to Rogue Game, the XT model would feature a base clock of 1450 to 1500 megahertz, a game clock of 2 to 2.1 gigahertz, and a boost clock of 2.2 to 2.4 gigahertz. All in all, that's about up to 200 megahertz higher when compared to the first revision of the frequency table made by AMD. Going down to the XL model, the base clock would be 1350 to 1400 megahertz, the game clock at 1800 to 1900 megahertz, and the boost clock at around 2100 megahertz. Now, you might notice that those are clock ranges and not very specific. This is because apparently reference models from AMD would be clocked in the lower end and AIB partner cards would likely be on the higher end of that spectrum. Going back to the XT though, 2.4 gigahertz. That's insane if true. I mean, directly from AMD's firmware, the figures for Navi 22 were showing a 2.5 gigahertz max clock, but that's on a 40 CU GPU. This is Navi 21 we're talking about, 80 compute units at 2.4 gigahertz. Anyways, it's not only Rogue Game who gives us these numbers. The information is also supported by another leaker who was previously proved right with some of his Zen 3 leaks, Patrick Schur. Although his information states that the 2.4 gigahertz clock speed is actually the game clock. He also adds the TGP at 255 watts, which according to him is the die and the memory only. In fact, it seems AIB are still honing the TGP with a maximum of 290 watts. So how about we compile a list of all of the specs we have for Navi 21 so we can compare it to the real thing once it comes out. Here we go. Navi 21 XT, or I'll just call it the 6900 XT now, would have 80 compute units for 5,120 stream processors. Its base clock would be at up to 1500 MHz, game clock at up to 2.1 GHz, and boost clock at up to 2.4 GHz. It would feature 16GB of GDDR6 memory on a 256-bit memory bus, and in terms of total graphics power, or TGP, we see 250 watts and over. Oh, and according to another leaker, it would have 128 ROPs. So there you go. We finally have a cheat sheet to go back to when the hype train gets to the station or completely derails. Moving on, let's talk APUs. Remember a few weeks back when we saw leaks of the uh, upcoming and extremely confusing next-gen laptop chips? Well, it looks like it's real. Ryzen 5000U processors will feature an awkward mix of Zen 2 and Zen 3 processors throughout the entire lineup. The top SKU, the Ryzen 5800U, is an 8-core 16-thread Zen 3 processor. Clocked at 2.0 GHz base and 4.4 boost, it has 8 Vega CUs clocked at 2 GHz. The new Zen 3 architecture ups the L3 cache to 16 megabytes compared to 8 megabytes on the Zen 2 chips. Under that CPU is the 5700U, a once again 8 core and 16 thread APU based on the Zen 2 architecture this time. It's basically the current 4800U but with a 100 megahertz bump on the CPU boost and 150 megahertz on the graphics. And this is where things take a turn. Under that is the 5600U. It's back on the Zen 3 architecture, but with 6 cores and 12 threads this time. You see why it could be confusing for consumers? 
This one has a base clock of 2.3 gigahertz and a boost of 4.2. It has seven Vega CUs clocked at 1.8 gigahertz and it has 12 megabytes of L3 cache. Then we have the 5500U, which you might've guessed is back on Zen 2. You see the pattern here? It's also a six core 12 thread CPU with a base clock of 2.1 gigahertz and a boost of 4.0. It has the same graphics configuration as the 5600U. And lastly, the Ryzen 3s, the 5400U, which is on Zen 3, and the 5300U, which is on Zen 2. They're both four cores, eight threads, with the differences being in the boost clock of the CPU and the six Vega CU clock speeds. Essentially, AMD is doing away with removing SMT and is instead reusing Zen 2 chips to compensate. With Zen 3 having such a huge IPC increase and the TDP being configurable by manufacturers, I wonder if a souped up 5600U could go head to head with a low power 5700U. That's a six core Zen 3 versus a eight core Zen 2. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories and how confusing that lineup of uh, APUs is going to be. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.